All right, folks, it is 2 o'clock, so uh, Ms. Coakley, if you'll call the roll. Mr. Nation? Here. Mr. Loop? Here. Mrs. Richardson? Here. All right, and we'll all stand for the invocation and pledge of allegiance. Let us pray. Gracious Father, guide us with your most gracious favor that all our work this afternoon will begin, continue, and end in you. And finally, by your mercy, may we obtain everlasting life through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I want to welcome everyone here to this uh, meeting of the of policy uh, work uh, committee, or, or group, or whatever it is we're calling ourselves these days, but anyway, I um, want to welcome Jana Bergeron, uh, who's in representing uh, 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 David and his law firm, so D Jana, welcome. Thank you. And um, at this time, we will move to, if anyone has any, any members of the public have any uh, three minutes. Uh, no one signed up. Okay, no one signed up. All right. Very good. So we will now move on to our agenda items, which are three. Discussion of board policy A, B, C, F, um, school board member removal from office. And that is here at our desk. It's the very first one. And I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Jabia just to bring us up to speed as to Yes, sir. Where we are from last time. Okay, so at the last meeting, uh, this committee decided not to act on this policy and would leave it as is. Uh, we are going to come up in a little bit with a, a policy that's going to address the concerns of the committee as why we did this. But for the time being, ABCF is final. It's no changes uh, that we will be uh, addressing today. Okay. Mr. Loop or Mrs. Richardson, do you have any questions before we move on? May I read it just real quick? I just sure. want to make sure. Because didn't we make some? I, I can't remember. It's been a, enough time has passed. Yeah. We didn't make any changes to this because I think you said this is the law. And we, if you remember, we're going to address uh, policy BEA, which is school board member conduct, ah. which is where we went through all of the stuff and put that in there. Okay, that is correct. Thank okay. you for okay. the recall. Yeah, no all right. problem. Very good. All right, then we'll move on to item B, which is discussion of board policy B, C, B, D, agenda preparation and dissemination. That's and again, we'll turn to Mr. Jabia just to, to bring us up to speed on what we have in front of us. Thank you. And I do have two other policies, but I guess we can get those in the next item. Um, B, C, B, D was the only policy that was left outstanding from the last meeting. If uh, you may recall that you, you're going to see in your packet the BCBD original with the name change to Agenda Preparation, Dissemination, and Procedure and mocked up. And then the next page is BCBD, which was like a final, but y'all had some changes that you wanted to make to that. So you will find attached the last document, BCBD, that's going to show, uh, and it's in blue at the top. Okay, Got you it. see agenda preparation, and it's BCBD. It's probably the last one in your packet because yep. I didn't know that was the order we were going in. Yeah, okay. That's copy in the same agenda. Okay, all right. So, so BCBD, uh, and I went back and listened to the minutes. David had taken some notes and. He was not, he's not available for this meeting. So I went back and listened to the minutes. And what y'all ask is that we add something in this policy to, to state that if the president of the board and the superintendent denied the request of the board member, that we have something in here to go to the next step. And so we had talked about a couple of different things. So this is what we did. Now, let me just tell you what's in blue was what was on the last time. What's in red on the last, the last packet 
is the third paragraph was added. And this third paragraph says, if the board president slash superintendent declines to add the requested item to the agenda, then the request to add the item to the agenda will be presented at the next scheduled committee as a whole meeting for business affairs and administration, and the board will vote whether or not to honor the request. The decision of the board is final. If the board votes to honor the request, the item shall then be placed on a subsequent committee as a whole meeting. Ms. Richardson, I think this is what you were looking for, for some mechanism to get it in front of the board for them to vote on whether it, the, the, the item would be placed on the agenda at a future meeting. So that's the only thing that was added to the existing policy that's all in red with a couple of blues at the top. I guess I should have marked these one, two, and three. Yeah. Been easier for y'all. No, that's okay. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. Let's move it this way. Okay. All right. So that's what we drafted. That's up to y'all if that's satisfactory with you. And uh, of course, uh, Mr. Nation, these, if approved by this committee, will go to the. I'm assuming the committee as a whole that Beth yes. would say where, where it would go that is when correct. we're going to address this uh, for approval or whatever, okay? That's correct. Okay. All right. And do we need to discuss BCBI before we... Well, uh, BCBI... Or can we and treat these separately? BCBI and BEA, y'all have already agreed on those. Oh, okay. So this is the This only is the only one that was left outstanding. Okay. Now, right. I, I will address... Uh, DEA, which is not up there when we get to the proper time, and I can tell you because y'all asked me to make some changes, but they were minute, so I can tell you what those are. Okay. Okay. All right. So back to um, BCBD. Right. Agenda preparation, dissemination, and procedures. So I guess at this point, I will uh, open the floor um, and entertain a motion if anyone would like to make a motion to um, accept. Uh, the change as presented. Yes, I'd like to make a motion to accept the change as presented. Okay. Second. All right. There's a motion and a second. All right. Now the floor is open for uh, discussion on the motion. Mrs. Richardson, since you made the motion, I'll let you you have the floor. And I just want to clarify. I'm reading right when you say we can bring it to the committee as a whole meeting. And at that time, if there's a second and a vote that to, to bring it to discussion, then at that point it will be on the agenda. Is yeah, that correct? As okay. I said, and the board will vote whether or not to honor the request. So correct. you have to have a first and a second to go for a vote. Very good. I, and I think that's great. And I just wanted to thank you for sure. doing that. No problem. But it'll be, on, it'll be placed on the subsequent. Well, the, the vote correct. will come up at the next, let's just say today's, you go and ask Ms. Heights for something to be placed on the agenda. And she says, no, I'm not going to do it. Then we would put it on the agenda for the next committee as a whole for business affairs and, and, uh, uh, administration and it would be placed on the agenda to vote and of course if it's Miss Richardson that made the motion she'll make the motion she'll explain she'll hope to get a second Correct. And then the board can vote on to whether that would be placed on the agenda it would not be placed on the agenda of that meeting right but it would be placed on a subsequent meeting right. and it would be to the appropriate committee as a whole meeting correct so if it's a if it's an education personnel, it will go to the first one. If it's business affairs administration, it will go to the second. Of course. Okay. 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 All right. And it's, uh, Mr. Luke, any, any no, comment? No, I'm, I'm, I'm agreeable with that. Okay. All right. Well, um, I don't know that I have any other co comments other than uh, I, think, I think it's pretty clear. So it is. It be placed on a, on a, a subsequent Correct. Right, correct. Committee as a whole. And we That's would leave correct. that up to the president, of course, cause depending on what's on the agenda. Right. <laughs> yeah, that would be. <laughs> right. If it's packed. I mean, that's, and I, again, I'm just very grateful that you took that into consideration the way you wrote it, because that's all I could ask. And if, if the board does not agree um, and give me a second, or it, not me, but any board Anybody. member, uh, then it's, it, it's dead in the water. So I just appreciate having that procedure in place to allow any board me member to speak. All right. Very good. All right, uh, before we go to a vote, of course, we, any comments from the public? I just have a question regarding this one. Yeah. 
I Please state your name for the record. I'm sorry, Cindy <laughs> Resto. Uh, my question is, is was this reviewed by legal, this change? Because some things I had kind of looked at, I don't even think it's legal for the board president to deny a fellow board member the right to be on the agenda. We, we look at all of the, I look at board policy for duties of board members and duties of the president. And Jana looked up for me the laws dealing with duties of board members. There is nothing that addresses putting stuff on the agenda. It is board policy right now, so it is legal the way it's working right now. So the law because is Because that is the policy. My, my question the is, law is, is, is it legal to deny a board member for requesting an item on the agenda in law? I'm not talking Wait. about current policy. The so law is ask, ask your question again. Is it legal to deny a board member from requesting an item be placed on the agenda and being denied by a board president. I think what it's, he's saying is not illegal. It's not the law is silent. Right. I, there is no don't law. We have, that we have a legal person. Is that Mrs. is that somewhere in, in law? Hi, I'm trying not to like turn my back on you while no, I'm speaking okay. to you. Um, I just wanted to let you know that I did look at the revised statutes regarding any board member's duty, which would also include the duties of the president of the board. And there is nothing specifically in the revised statutes that speaks to this issue one way or the other. So I'm not aware of anything that would make it illegal. <clears throat> if there is something you're aware of that you would like to bring to my attention, I would be happy to take a look at it. I, um, no, I didn't say it was illegal. I was asking the question, is it legal to do that? As, to as, deny. As far as we are aware, um, as we sit here today, there is nothing in the revised statutes that would prevent that. Correct. Okay, and there's nothing in the statutes that would prevent the president from denying? That's correct. Okay, that's my question. All right, thank you, Mrs. Rester. Uh, so just so that I'm clear, uh, Mrs. Bergeron, um, the, the state legislature is, is basically because the law is silent, it's just leaving up to each school board to determine their rules of order and, and how they conduct the, their business. Is that, would that be a fair statement? I do believe that's a fair statement. The revised statutes do not specifically address that. Correct. All right, very good. Excuse me, Mr. Nation. I want to be sure that everybody understands that we had already included in this policy about how a group or an individual would go about requesting to be put on the agenda where we talked about uh, that the constituent or whoever it was, they want to place an item on the agenda, they have to contact a school board member. We scratched out of their district, so we did it parish-wide. Mm -hmm. And if the school board member wishes for the item to be placed on the agenda, the school board member shall make the request to the president of the board. So that's already in there. <laughs> And then we added this paragraph to say, if the president, superintendent denies the request, this is the mechanism for getting it to the board and letting the board make a decision whether the item needed to be on the right. agenda or not. And certainly I think this, once again, as far as, I can, as far as I'm concerned, and I'm speaking only for myself, is that this, once again, this, this school board is going beyond what we, what probably most school boards do, in, yes, you know, with this, um, and it's also, and Mrs. Bergeron and others can correct me if, if I'm wrong about this, but in general principle, it is in anybody, any, anybody, uh, any group or organization, but any particularly any legislative body like we are, it is the president or the chair of that group has a far-ranging authority to set the agenda and set the the, the the calendar for uh, for the that um, political body's um, business is that a fair would that be a fair, as far as as far as you understand as far as I understand that is a fair statement there are some revised statutes that talk about and speak to the timing of the meetings um, however there is nothing as far as I'm aware that spe that speaks specifically to the running of the meetings as far as what's included on the agenda right. and what's not. Yeah, generally speaking, most legislative bodies get to set their own rules of order and, and their rules for procedure. Right. Um, so, all right. Um, 
Well, with that being said, and there being no further discussion, uh, I'll call for the vote. All those in favor of adopting this as amended say aye. 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 Opposed by a like sign. And any abstentions? The motion carries. All right, Mr. Jabby, you wanted to speak to policy BEA? Is well, that... I'm going to speak to both of them that's left. BCBI, which is the next one on your agenda. Oh, okay. Thank yes. you. Yes. Okay. Uh, that was adopted or, or approved at the last meeting. Uh, I have that for you in the packet. I have the mocked up version of the draft, and then it, it, we, we reduce it to a one page. It's basically talking about. Uh, the desire of citizens to attend the meetings, uh, how visitors will be recognized, and how you go about requesting for time during the meeting, whether you want the five minutes or the three minutes. So we did review that last time, and that one is ready to go. And you took action last time on that. Okay. We did. Okay? Correct. Yes. Right. And you also, I don't know if you took action on BEA, because you asked that I take BEA, and if you'll look at the very last page, which is which is not mocked up, um, the very back, you ask that we make the last paragraph a separate paragraph and that we add consequences as the heading, which I did. Everything else we had already reviewed, we corrected. Some things said uh, uh, school board president and it shouldn't have so we changed it to school board members or whatever it was or I said school board employee because this this was our school board employees code of conduct here Correct. Right. and we we changed it for board members right. so we had to go through and make the editorial changes making sure that all of all of that was put in correctly um, that is it um, Miss Rester did ask me at the beginning of the meeting um, about the order under notification by school board members, the order of the different uh, items that we have there. Matt, I apologize. I didn't make any copies for anymore. I didn't know anybody was coming. You good? Okay. Uh, so, um, you know, she said convictions is kind of like the worst thing that could happen. Uh, should that come last? I don't know. Uh, this is a conviction. Uh, it's just, this is how it's, it's in our uh, employee policy. You have the conviction. You have the initiation of criminal prosecution. We have the arrest for certain offenses and then the consequences. Okay. So that's up to you if you want to make a change on that. Yeah. But uh, that was brought to my attention right before we... we but the did. substance of... The uh, substance is the same. Yes, sir. All right, it would just be the order that they're in. So. All right. Any... Questions or comments about uh, what Mr. Jabby just... If you want if I, to be sure, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I just going to say, if you want to be sure, because I don't remember if we voted on this one, I think y'all were good with it, with that change, <laughs> so you may want to vote on this one. Okay, so I'll okay. open the floor then to entertain a motion to adopt this to top policy uh, BEA as presented. Sure, I'll take I'll take uh, the motion. Sorry. Uh, and is there a second? Second. All right. Motion and a second, so it's on the on the floor for discussion. Um, and Mrs. Richardson, I'll turn to you. You have the floor. If I may, may I read the what, what the consequences read? Since Absolutely. we don't have, if Absolutely. that's okay. All right. I, I just for reference wanted to articulate the section that Mr. Jabby pointed out labeled consequences. It reads: Any school board member who fails to comply with these provisions may be suspended, with or without pay, or have other action taken as it relates to their membership privileges upon vote of two thirds of the membership of the school board. And uh, I, I want to just come back to what we did. I r recall that Mr. Pittman had given us, the, he, this was about the most legal thing that we could do, given the fact that this right. is pertaining to uh, <laughs> an elected official. So again, just thank you for articulating that <laughs> for no, us no. at the tail end of that policy. No problem. Yeah. I and I'm, I'm very happy with that. I think that's a great compromise. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Ms. Richardson. Mr. Luke, do you have any comments? No, I'm fine. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't have any. I'm. I'm good with everything. Uh, open it to the. Open it to the public, Mrs. Rester. I just have a question because I'm looking on board docs because I had requested these documents in advance and this was not sent to me at all. Is it? it and on board docs, it's not there. 
I apologize. I, I don't know what happened. So we'll make sure it doesn't happen again. I can get you copies before you leave if you'd like. I was going to say, well, it's not just that, though. Because this was a public meeting, it may affect other people. I, I just don't want you to approve something and move forward and it not be because I can't see it. Nobody else can see it. Well, well this is this is a working committee. So it'll this go is to going to go to the committee as a whole. But it's being and handled. Everybody will, it's being handled just like a committee meeting. So it's yeah. supposed to be noticed is what I'm getting at. That's the point. I, from what I'm hearing, it doesn't point. sound like I have an issue with it. But point, point made. I understand your point. I apologize. I don't know what happened in our communication and getting it posted. But it. Right, but it's not posted on board docs. May, may not I ask, just my are we able to right. upload those documents even post this meet, committee meeting? Is that possible to get it updated? We can update it. Are we able to? We can update yeah. it and put it on board there. Board docs? Yes. Yeah, let's do that. That way. Right. Just if anybody had an interest, but I couldn't see right. it. Right. So, but right. I don't know if anybody else had an interest. Okay. Right. It right. doesn't sound like I have an objection to it, but I'm just, right. for so. legality sake. All right. I'll get with Chris. Thank you, that. Mrs. Rester. All right. Uh, there being no further comments from the public, then we'll move to, to vote on the uh, revised policy. Um, BEA, all those in favor say aye. 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 All right, since there's just three of us, that means motion <laughs> carries <laughs> unanimous. So, all right. Mr. Jabby, is that? Uh, That's it. All right. These were the policies that this committee was charged with, I do believe. All right. well, well, again, thank you, Mr. Jabia, for all the work you and your team have done, and particularly thank you to uh, Mr. Pittman and his office, and certainly want to keep Mr. Pittman in our prayers as he yes. continues to recover from uh, a pretty severe health issue. So, and But we are delighted, and I'm delighted to get to reconnect with my good friend, Jana Bergeron. So, Jana, uh, hope to see you again here at the at school board meetings. Thank you. Real soon. All right. With no further business to come for this group, the meeting is declared adjourned. Thank you all. Thank you.